So, uh, New Zealand is equal? Um, I think everyone kind of pretends that everyone's equal, but really, I'm not sure, like, a lot of different groups, like the Maoris and the Indians and everyone else, I'm not sure if everyone considers them the same. And also, it's like good-looking people and, like, bad-looking people. If, like, the good-looking people come in for the job, like, people might give it to them. And I think New Zealanders kind of pretend that everything's just going to be, like, the same. Well, I'm, I'm white, so to some people I'm more a higher class person to say a Māori, like I'm part Māori but I'm still white so I'm in this level but if you're a Māori or an islander or something you're basically on this level but if I, if I was to make the rules I would make everyone on the same level instead of being your nothing and we're the people that run this country. So as someone coming from Sydney and I've only been here for four days but from what I can see it Generally, by comparison to Australia, it's significantly more <laughs> uh, more equal. I mean, just off the top of my head, in terms of um, how um, how the indigenous culture is mixed in here in New Zealand is is uh, is fantastic by contrast to Australia. It's not fair that lower decile schools um, don't get as many opportunities. I know as high decile schools. Um, but also just as individuals ourselves, we need to be more sort of aware and conscious of the inequality and inequity itself. Social and economic inequality levels, um, they're actually quite low in New Zealand. Um, yeah, um, and everyone has uh, equal opportunities and rights, um, so even a person from a lower background can actually rise to the top. I don't come from a rich family and I don't consider myself wealthy at all but um, this year we're looking at buying our first house and I guess on equal rights I mean I'm a painter so it's not a you know it, it isn't a great trade but it's just mate I've got to work hard for for what I want for my future and for my kids. I think there's a lot of inherent stereotypical racism that goes on but like people might not actually talk about it but I'm half Egyptian but I'm still you know like half white and I was still born and like raised here, but I still don't get treated as a Kiwi or like treated as, ha ha, you're one of us, nah, like where are you from, like what are you doing here? Not like, an, not, it's not even like intended to be rude, like I don't take it as rude anymore, it's just who I am, but you know, it's still there, like it's still present, like you're not one of us, you're different, like you're an outsider. There seems to be a lot more achievable goals within the country here, whereas in the UK it seems like there's a, a, a class structure still in place set out with different tiers of achievement which are probably unachievable to most people. Whereas here, I'd say that things are a lot more, real, goals are much more realistic to accomplish. Yeah. Why is that? Um, I don't know. It's kind of like there's that Kiwi dream of old, old, holding, owning a holder and a batch and a, and a house and it seems like it's still fairly achievable to most people. Like I arrived here just as a backpacker and now I'm the head chef at a really respectable restaurant and done pretty well just working hard and, and, and going for it really. The social welfare um, policies are being lessened, to, uh, funding's being cut to um, social welfare and rape crisis, women's refuge, all of those really important social structures which in reality are going to provide us with more of a social change than helping out the rich is going to. <laughs>